The Titans TSU relationship is like no other pro college relationship in the country and is getting better with time. The Tigers returned to its Hell Stadium on campus in 2012 and now play home games at both locations. But it comes at a cost, which is why University President Glenda Glover and head football coach and former Titan Eddie George are in favor of the new stadium deal. I am so excited about a new stadium and what it means for big events to the city, but also for TSU student athletes who will get the opportunity to play there and experience a wonderful time. Simmons, and I want to let you know what's going on here. So we've already had kind of deals like this before with stadiums with a group of five schools like UNLV and the Vegas Raiders. Um, unlike that, UNLV is not allowed to use their on-campus somewhat Samboy Stadium. Can't use it for concerts, can't use it for venues. Like XFL couldn't use it this year. I can't use it for a couple of years. Well, Tennessee, Tennessee State, as we know, this offseason has been desperately trying to get more recognition now. They've been doing things. I believe they won a Grammy this year. Uh, they're putting out this kind of statement which shows the history that coaches have. Clyde Simmons, Brandon Fisher, Brewster, Burns, these, key, these people have coaching history. They have the lineage to get your kids to the next level. The same thing that was done before at basically Jackson, but this is a little bit more subdued. Well, you see the coaching staff. You've seen what happened when they brought in $250 million worth of money from the state. The state tried to tell them where, where they can and cannot use it. So all they can do now is leverage what leverage they have left. And that would be the relationship with Coach George and the Tennessee Titans. Like I said before, you got to see the bigger picture. Coach George looked at it like this, and the deal they have that is kind of hidden is simple. Right now, Tennessee State pays $200,000 per game to play at Nissan Stadium. Well, with this agreement, they don't pay anymore. Matter of fact, they get paid not to play there. $150,000 to play at home. But here's the deal, people. They keep all concessions, all ticket revenue, all parking permits. Their team has a NFL locker room. Yes, the NFL locker room and access to NFL facilities. But at the same time, Tennessee Titans are going to work to help build an on-campus stadium for Tennessee State. That's called <laughs> using your leverage and your celebrity in the right way. Not only are they going to have a temporary home, but they're going to have a home permanently be built on campus. Now, I know what you're going to say. Hey, look, coach, you're new to this. Maybe you forgot. They already have an on-home campus stadium. They have Hale Stadium. See, it's 15,000 people. True. This stadium right here, we open in, what, 2027. True. We all know Tennessee State's main goal. We know it. We've been knowing it. <laughs> it is not new. The main goal is to go FBS. D1, if you will. Well, having to play at this kind of stadium for Tennessee Titans for a year or two to the home stadium gets built, it's not something that's unheard of. Like I said before, with your 
Vegas Raiders. That's what they're doing. With the Rebels. This stadium, 15,000 seats, doesn't qualify for FBS. FBS must play in either a 30,000 seat stadium or average 15,000 people per home game. So we know what the goal is for Tennessee State. To get them a 30,000 plus seat stadium. And since the government wants to dictate how they spend the money that they owe them, you got to look at what Tennessee Titans are willing to do. Now, I can go on and on about where I see them playing at, what conference will they fit in if they do decide to go FBS. Oh, sorry. When they decide to go FBS, I can definitely see them going to the MAC. Or even the Sun Belt. Hell, AAC, Conference USA. There's so many different things that I see them doing. But that's the end goal. The current thing right now is you got to take steps. And I like the way Eddie George is doing this. Because a lot of people, you want to go from zero to 100 real quick. Y'all know that was a bar. Sorry. But you got to look at baby steps. You got to get your facilities right. You got to get sponsors all around the city. You got to get a correct TV network contract. You have to build up the infrastructure. And people say, well, they don't have certain things to go FBS. Everything they have, all their teams besides football, is FBS. If they were to win their conference in basketball, they're playing in the NCAA tournament. If they were to win in baseball, they're going to Omaha. So it's this building up the football team, which is what Eddie Jordan was brought to do. And I think he's doing a damn good job of it. They haven't translated success like they wanted to on the field. But I think this year, with their schedule, they have a chance to do that. And now that the people see what the end goal truly is, and they see the steps are being made to go to that end goal, and with Tennessee State being able to play in an NFL brand new billion dollar stadium, the moves that UNLV is making on the FBS level, they can make to the FBS level. Coach Simmons, I'm out.